My most recent uh, 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 accomplishment was a wiki. I never even knew what wiki stood for. Uh, and and I, I went up to our instructional designer, Ian, and I said, uh, how can I do something? And I, and I told him what I wanted to do. And then he said, we'll create a wiki. So what's a wiki? This is what Wikipedia is all about, your ability to take something and put it online and have people edit it. And that's exactly what I needed. Uh, so I teach a course right now where uh, a big component of it is a safety management system, which is what we do on board vessels nowadays. So instead of having it hard copied in the uh, simulator where they do the exercises, we put it on the, uh, the blackboard, the wiki is there, and then the students learn how to access it and read it in order to be able to do their maneuvers. And if they are recognizing that there's something wrong, they know how to take it now and um, you know, report it as a nonconformity all through the wiki. It then goes to me, which then I review, and then if I think they've done something correct, then I, I do a, a root cause analysis, I'll do a, uh, um, a reporting of a nonconformity, and then I do the corrective action, and then they have to change it themselves, similar to what they would be doing on board a ship. So it really is preparing them much more uh, for the real world, which is uh, on board vessels is all electronic now. I also use a wiki that's worked extremely well um, for another kind of creative assignment that I do um, with uh, a patient who finds out that he has um, herpes and has to make a decision about how to tell a partner. These, I could cover all these fun topics. Um, but what I do in that is rather than stand up and say, well, these are the things that we should teach people so that they're prepared to tell their partner, is I have them do this in a storytelling format. So they have to step into the story and become someone in the story. So they're a character as this young man is trying to decide, does he tell the woman he's going out with that night that he has herpes or not? And so they go in different directions with this story. They're in small groups doing this. And then I interject to make sure we hit the highlights. So if nobody introduces the potential of social media outing someone um, or sharing that information that they don't want shared, then in one of the groups I go in and become a character that posts something on Facebook. Um, and you know, if one of the groups doesn't have a concern to make sure we've ensured that there's safety issues that have been examined or addressed, then I go in and say, oh, and now we've got this part of it, and I'm a character that introduces that issue. So that they have to think about those, but in more of a creative kind of fun setting, and then at the end, we wrap up and I kind of summarize them and I call it, you know, as the epi world turns because it's very dramatic. Um, and I talk about how, you know, this is ideally how we'd like it to be and this is what we'd like people to know. Um, but these are things we have to watch for. And we also have to watch for our own biases in here. So we have to watch for a double standard in gender and how, you know, when, when, we have someone revealing the fact that they have an STI. It's not always received the same way if it's male or female. We, um, one of the things I intentionally introduced into the scenario is that there's a previous partner that had broken up with him without any explanation, but I don't identify the gender of the previous partner, and the current partner is female, and so almost across the board, I think I've had one person that said, well, wait a minute, you know, this doesn't necessarily mean that this is still a, someone who only has heterosexual relationships. And so it goes into the whole piece of heterosexual bias. And that if we walk in and see our patients and approach them assuming that, we've already built a wall around ourselves that means our communication is gonna break down there. And so how to have those conversations that allow that, that person to reveal and discuss in a safe environment their sexual history. And so we go through all of that in a wiki format and then summarize it and put it together in a video discussion. And, um, but they, they get a lot out of that too. And so I just feel like if, if you can engage them in a thoughtful process that's, that's um, a little bit more fun or not necessarily your standard, I'm gonna talk, you're gonna take notes, it's more useful. Mm -hmm.